pharaohs were the supreme rulers of ancient Egypt, which lasted from around 3100 BC to 30 BC. Like a king, czar, or emperor, the pharaoh held power over Upper and Lower Egypt as a political and religious leader. Pharaohs were even seen as gods in human form. About 170 pharaohs ruled during ancient Egypt's 3,000-year history, covering more than 30 dynasties. The most famous was Tutankhamun, commonly referred to as King Tut. Around 1341 BC, Tutankhamun was born in the royal court of Egypt as a prince. The son of the pharaoh Akhenaten, Tutankhamun's birth name was Tutankhaten. Egyptian pharaohs had multiple wives. Tutankhaten was the child of one of his father's secondary wives and not his primary wife, the influential Queen Nefertiti. Tutankhaten's presence may have created tension within the royal courts. While Nefertiti had only given birth to daughters, she desperately wanted a son of her own to become the next pharaoh. Tutankhaten's father was a radical when it came to religion. He made dramatic changes to the religious traditions of ancient Egypt, requiring his people to stop worshipping multiple gods and the main god, Amun, and instead worshipping only the sun god, Aten. This forced the population to change how they'd practice religion for more than a thousand years, and he became widely unpopular once he closed the older gods' temples. He even moved Egypt's capital to a previously unoccupied location where the old religion had far less influence. Tutankhaten's father passed away when he was just seven years old. About three years later, Tutankhaten married his paternal half-sister, which was not uncommon for Egyptian pharaohs, and he became the 12th pharaoh of the 18th Egyptian dynasty. Because Tutankhaten was so young, his adult advisors essentially ran the kingdom for him. These advisors included the military commander, Horemheb, and the grand vizier, Ai, both of whom would become pharaohs themselves. Much of the Egyptian population was upset about the religious reforms that Tutankhaten's father forced on them. As a result, Tutankhaten and his advisors reversed many changes his father had made. Under Tutankhaten, Egypt returned to its traditional religious practices and the old temples were reopened. The former capital city was restored, and Tutankhaten changed his name to Tutankhamun to express his allegiance to the previous primary god, Amun. Tutankhamun was about 19 years old when he died. Archaeologists are not certain what the cause of death was. While some people believe he was murdered, it's possible he died from an infection that started in his leg after an accident. When experts examined his mummy, they found that his leg was broken and seriously infected around the time he passed away. Tutankhamun also suffered from numerous health issues during his lifetime, and recent studies suggest that malaria and a bone disorder contributed to his death. Tutankhamun's popularity grew after his tomb was discovered in 1922 in Egypt's Valley of the Kings. His tomb was likely built for a different person, but was chosen as his final resting place when he died unexpectedly. This helped prevent thieves from knowing where it was, which is why archaeologists found it filled with more treasure than any other pharaoh's tomb. Let us know your thoughts down below. If you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe for more videos like this, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks for watching the History Stop, and we'll see you next time.